What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone is doing well out there. Today's video is about all of our favorite topic, and that is overdrive pedals. Specifically, these three pedals that we'll get to in a bit. Uh, these three pedals are probably my most commonly used overdrive pedals here in my little apartment studio. Um, and we're going to see how I use them because the reality is you don't need a ton of gain, right, on your pedals. Because the more gain you have, the more compressed the sound is, which may result in not a clear guitar tone, right? Also, when you add more gain, you can get away with more things, I believe, with not super clear playing or whatever. But how I set them is, I guess a pretty common method, is with the gain barely on, right? So I'm mostly getting the color of the pedal, but without all of the gain, right? Which is what I really want. So the three pedals we'll be checking out, uh, the first one you can see right here, and that is the Ibanez TS-10 that's been on my board now for a while. The next one is its, I guess, sibling, which is the Ibanez TS-9. And the third one is everyone's favorite Soraya Tone Centura. So as they say, we're going to check out the settings, how I use them, run it through its paces, as they also say in the guitar community, um, through the ODS with the PRS and check out some tones and etc. So let's go. So before we get into the pedal part of today's video, let's check out the gear that's being used. So guitar wise, I'm using my PRS Super Eagle into the ODS on the clean channel. And then that's going into the aux that has a 212 twin reverb type cabinet that has two JBL speakers. I'm also on the middle pickup. And here is that tone. Right, really clean. clean the amp is doing all the work and now the pedals will add to color the sound not add a ton of gain so the first pedal we'll have is the ibanez ts10 and those settings are gain completely off and tone and level set to about noon which is about unity gain for both right i'm not adding brightness nor am i taking it away and level wise i may be adding just a bit of a level boost, right? Because the last thing you want when you're engaging this type of pedal is for your signal to drop, right? 
also, I think what we're doing is because we're not having so much gain, this poke in the mids comes out much more audible than if we were to add a ton of gain. So here is clean tone with no pedal. Engage TS-10. Right, so not a lot of gain, but a ton of color from the pedal. Turn the pedal off. Turn the pedal on. Right? It's the color that I want from the pedal, right? I don't want my overdrive tone to be super dramatic from my clean tone. And by lowering the gain and just pushing the, and having the unity at tone and level, kind of like a clean boost, but more of a color boost, right? I want that frequency to come out that the pedal is pushing, but not to make my tone 100% different. If that makes sense. So that's the TS-10. Probably my favorite for this mid-gain type thing. Next up, let's check out the TS-9. It's sibling? Yeah. Cool. TS-9 is plugged in, and here is the clean tone. <laughs> the TS-9, again with the same settings as the TS-10. Gain off and tone and level at unity. <laughs> Thank you. 
Still a bunch of that tube screamer type color coming in. darker than the uh, TS-10, right? Again, they're the same letter, different fonts, whichever works for you, right? I still like the smoothness and a little bit more of the clarity of the TS-10. So with that being said, let's check out now the Soraya Tone Centura. Cool. So now we have the Soraya Tone Centura, which as you all know, is a derivative of the Klon, which is the king of clean, transparent boosts in the world. So here is this clean tone. So before engaging the pedal, the settings are gain is just above 9 o'clock, treble is around 11 o'clock, and gain is just about 9 o'clock as well. <laughs> Right, so it's adding still a bit of color, but you can hardly tell when the pedal is on when it's off, but you can feel it, right, which is the most important thing. So even if you do something like, On. 
it adds almost the most character to a clean boost, right? So that can almost be like your light overdrive rhythm tone, right? Then either the two screamers can be more of a lead boost, right? Because they color the sound more and they add just a bit more distortion, um, which again allows the guitar to breathe and you can really hear the guitar more um, in a bigger context, right? Again, my whole idea with this overdrive video is to show you don't need a lot of gain, right? The less gain you have, you still get the color of the pedal, but the more the guitar and the wood and the, and the pickups all come through much more naturally. And I hope with these three tone demos, you heard that. Well, all right, guys, that is today's video on how I set my overdrives, right? It's kind of like reverb. You love a lot of reverb because it's a nice cushion, but the reality is you don't need a lot to feel comfortable. In fact, the less you have, funny enough, the more you're playing is heard. And that to me is a lot like gain. You don't need a ton of gain, right? And the whole point of this video was to show that with less gain, you still get that coloration of the pedal, quote unquote, right? But it allows the guitar to come out more and almost breathe more, right? And then the resulting factor is less gain lets you be heard and much more articulate, right? Which is the end goal. You want to be heard. You want the guitar and your playing to come through. So that is today's video. I highly recommend you guys try this out for yourself and maybe have a revelation that I don't need so much gain as I thought I needed to get this sound or tone that I'm going for. So with all that being said, if you liked today's video, please press like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.